Welcome to IT Simplified. In today's session, we'll see how to create fabric capacity on Azure portal and link it to Power BI workspace. So let's get started. All right, so I'm logged on to the Azure portal with my admin credential. Let's go and try to search for Microsoft Fabric. Let's click on create. And let's follow the prompts here, just going by filling basic information like what subscription you want. You can create a new resource group if you don't have. So I'm going to name it Fabric RG. Pick the region you want to deploy, and uh, this is going to be critical, what size you want. So this fabric capacity is uh, represented in capacity units, and it's nothing but a combination of your CPU and RAM. And you can see you can go from F2 all the way up to F2048. And on the side, you can see the pricing too. So typically, if I have to give an example, F16 is going to be eight times more powerful than F2. Now, what option to use uh, uh, will depend upon, you know, uh, what kind of uh, solution we want to deploy. But the good thing is that you have this flexibility of scalability. So maybe you start with F4, you can always uh, upgrade that to a higher version uh, if it's not meeting the demands for you. For this demonstration, I'm going to pick F2. And select. And you can also select who is going to be the capacity administrator. In this case, I'm going to pick myself, but uh, feel free to choose whoever going to have this uh, access to this capacity. And obviously they can make changes. You can tag it. Uh, you can have a tag for which uh, unit will be paying for these resources if you want from the visibility perspective. And uh, saying validation failed. Let me just go back. Oh, I need to give the capacity name, obviously. And uh, let's see. All right, so as long as you get the green check mark, you should be good. Let's review and create. And let's click on the create button. So this deployment typically doesn't take long, so it should be straightforward, right? And uh, once this deployment is done, we're going to link that with our Power BI workspace. Now, in order to access the Power BI workspace, you can go to app.powerbi.com, right? And uh, once you're logging in for the first time, it will create a default workspace. Like in this case, uh, for me, it's showing uh, my workspace. So basically, what is a workspace in Power BI? It's just a place where you collaborate with your uh, different users, right? Here you can create your dashboards, you can create reporting. That's the place you're going to come to. But uh, we're going to link the workspace that we're going to create with our fabric capacity. So just to show you while that is getting deployed, in my case, you see I have uh, my workspace, which is opened. And you see the diamond sign here. If I go under the workspace settings, you can see, you can pick the license. In my case, I'm using the trial version and because there is a diamond sign in front of it, uh, because I just stuck this trial, it's giving me all the capabilities. But uh, for this demonstration, I want to say that, let's say if you don't have a trial version and you want to link the capacity uh, to your workspace or what is going to be the steps. So let's see if that is done, so yeah. The capacity was uh, installed successfully. It's as you can see is F2. Uh, you can always change the scale. So you can see, as I mentioned, if you're not getting the right performance, you can always bump it up. But the good thing is that you can always pause it and resume it. So right now it's in running state. So it's getting built per second, right? And uh, let's say if you're running 24 seven, 
is going to be the cost is going to be 396.18 uh, which is around about 744 hours on an average in a month that's your maximum cost going to be but for the time if you're not using it you can always pause it right that's the button over here and you won't get charged for that that's the flexibility that you get with this uh, you can also see you can give uh, access to the people right based on their job description you can also diagnose and solve problems right now we just started so nothing much over here right capacity administrator you can always add it as i mentioned right uh, you can create log so it can be deleted uh, you can also configure the alerts and notification you can create the alert rules right so that's all part of this uh, by default for this capacity but the main thing is that you're going to pay for this capacity based on the SKU you choose. And the other cost is going to be the storage, which is going to be the one leg storage that you're going to create. But for this capacity, uh, based on the SKU, which is a combination of your CPU RAM. All right, so let's go to the Power BI and you go to app.powerbi.com. And you can see I'm logged in with the same credential. Uh, in order to create a new workspace, so other than the default, you can just go and click over here and click on the Add New Workspace button. Let's see and make sure that the name is unique. If you get the green check mark, that's good. You can give a description um, if you want. My YouTube, you can assign a domain if it's optional. You can also give the workspace image if you want, right? Uh, while we're here, let's, uh, let me just pick. All right, and here, when you go into the advanced button, Let's go and expand this. You see the licensing mode here. Here you see the fabric capacity is available for me. I can click on this and this is the one it is visible for me. You can see the one that we just created. I'm going to select this and go and click on the apply button. And now it's going to use that capacity uh, that I can use to run my resources, right? And uh, whatever the cost going to be uh, will be managed through the cost management within Azure. But that's the way you're going to link the capacity that you created on the Azure portal with Power BI Workspace. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.